for this great, grand occasion. We're excited about our pastor and our first lady, are we not? Praise God. Amen. And we're going to start off today with our praises from our number one youth choir in the state of Arkansas. Let's hear from our youth, from our praise team, my youth praises. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 
procession. Let us all stand for procession. Amen. Praise God.
We affirm our faith in God. People. We believe there is one God, the Trinity Jesus Christ, God, 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 Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. We affirm our faith in repentance. We affirm our faith in salvation. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We affirm our faith in the Holy Ghost. We affirm our faith in sanctification. We believe in the sanctified power of the Holy Spirit, by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen.
to give honor to God, who is the head of my life, our honorable pastor, his wife, and family, to everyone that's here, our uh, guest speaker in his church. Just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. I take the greatest pleasure to extend to you the most hearty welcome for our pastor and wife anniversary. I speak for all of us here at the church when I say that you are more than welcome. These words are not just uttered from our lips, but they come from the heart. We have done our best to make you comfortable and pleasant for your enjoyment. We are very, very, very excited and happy that you all are here with us today. All right, and we just wanna say welcome again. And the Bible says that we let our elders rule that we may be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. And our leader has certainly met these requirements and many others along with his wife and all of his family. So we wanna give them their flowers while they are here because they deserve it more than anything. So let us just worship with God, worship together as a family, come together and bless his name and our pastor's wife anniversary, and let's just be here and just fellowship with one another, and you all are welcome. Amen. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done, not what Sir the Williams have done, but what God has done. Amen. I count it as an honor and as a privilege to be here on this afternoon. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to Great New Bible Work and celebrate my family. Amen, Lady Rogers, amen, Pastor Rogers, amen, you look so beautiful all today. Sister Blister, we do accept that warm welcome, amen, on behalf of all the guests. Amen, I have some co-workers that's in the house today. They told me they were coming, and to God be the glory. Amen, they did just that. Amen, I thank God for all of you, amen, that came. Amen, on behalf of all the guests and the uh, New Faith Way Church of God in Christ, Superintendent Terry Williams, and the Holly Spring District, and all the other guests, we do accept your warm, hearty welcome. Amen, and we just come on to have a good time. We know where we at, amen. We in a good start. Will you please hold your applause until the last name has been called? First, the supervisor of the women department of the Arkansas Second Jurisdiction, Mother Jeanette Abraham Watkins. Yeah. Amen. The wife of our guest speaker, First Lady uh, Shirley Williams, of uh, the New Faithway Church of God in Christ. The North Little Rock District Missionary, First Lady Ernestine Strickland. She's also the First Lady of St. Matthew's Church of God in Christ. First Lady uh, Marilyn Hobson, New Calvary Temple. First Lady Glory Bird of Walker's Temple, Fordyce in the Holly Springs District. First Lady Shanetta Brown, of New Scots Temple, Church of God in Christ, in Chittister, also the Holly Springs District. Yeah. 
Missionary George Burrow of the Holly Spring District. Amen. Amen. Right. District Missionary, okay. First Lady Dorothy Willis of Free Will Outreach Fellowship in Hazen, Arkansas. Amen. We thank God for First Lady Dr. Marissa Robinson. Don't sit down. Dr. Marissa Robinson of, T of Temple of Restoration. Amen. Have I overlooked anyone? Lady Savage, Lady Joanne Savage of Soul Winning Temple, please stand. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You may now show your love to this awesome man of God. Thank you, thank you for coming. God
Chastity was a little girl. <laughs> and I thank God for them. They are a well-deserved couple that have labored so hard. And their labor is a labor of love. And they give themselves to the Lord. Amen. Not because it's just something to do. But they know that's what they must do. I want everybody in the house right now to stand up on your feet. Deacon Jackson is a military man. A man, he's a, he's a vet, isn't that right? Deacon, I want you to come up here and stand in front of them, and I want you to salute them, and I want everybody to follow protocol with them. Whether you spent time in the military or not, I want everybody to follow his direction. Let's go, Sergeant. <laughs> Come on, y'all, get down your hands, please. Amen. So we thank God for you. We love you tonight. Amen. That's a well-deserved salute. And we salute y'all today. Amen. And we can't do enough for you. We really can't. We can't do enough for you. Any pastor that have sat in their seat know that sometimes you go lacking because you want to make sure the ministry go well. Sometimes you lay up at night worrying about this member and that member because you want to see them do well. Sometimes the wife have to take the back seat just to make sure that the women of God in the church are taken care of. They offer themselves and they offer their husband for the work of God. And I will tell you today, your labor is not in vain. God salutes you, we salute you, and we love you today. God bless you. Come on and give God a good praise. We have. We'll invite to the pulpit uh, Pastor Carol Maxwell from Victory Temple, who is the guest of our speaker today. If you would love to come to the pulpit, we'd certainly like to invite you. Amen. Pastor Michael Barbara. Baker, in that back. Amen. If you would like to come and sit with us, God bless you. We thank you for being with us on today. Let's give them a good God bless you. Sir, 
Father, we thank God for our speaker's guests here today. First of all, we thank God for the man that's leading this second jurisdiction today in the North Wright District in the person of our own Superintendent Jerome Strickland. Let's give God a good hand for you. Will the pastors of the North Blue Rock District please stay here? Amen. Any day now. <laughs> Pastor Roar. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God a good hand for you. Amen. Pastor Lottie Salad. Superintendent Robin Robinson. Pastor Woods. Come on and give God a good hand for you. Pastor Lee Rodman. Amen. Superintendent Robinson. Superintendent Strickland. They are all pastors of the North Little Rock District. And certainly we thank God for them. And certainly we thank God for our guests here today. Yeah. So Come on, somebody. Give God a good hand for you. with him. Amen. Pastor Carl Bird. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor Billy Brown. Come on, God bless you today. We love them and we thank God for y'all being with us today. You didn't have to do it, but you came to support us today and we thank God. By the way, let's give them a good salute today. Amen. At this time, we're going to have a tribute, amen, to Pastor Rogers from one of our greatest deacon. He's the head deacon of this church. He loves his church and he loves his pastor. Let's say amen for Deacon Roy Davis as he come in this time. After which you have some new front of our first lady, first lady Dora Rogers, going to be done by Mother Garrett. Let's say amen as they come in this order. Give it up to the Lord today who should be the head of our lives. To our wonderful pastor, first lady on today. You know, it's kind of hard to give a tribute to the pastors without mentioning the first lady because they work so good together. But anyway, I sit here and I thought about what I could say. Uh, I didn't want to take a full hour, so I decided I'd just kind of <laughs> melt it down a little bit. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Giving out to my wife that's uh, in high absence now, so. First of all, thank you for all you do for the church, Pastor. That's right. Thank you for being such a great example of a leader and living a life of faith. You are a blessing to the church. Thanks for all the ways that you make a difference, not only in the church, but in the community. A man who teaches the word of God, the word of truth that gives the people's power, the power of love. The love of God. Amen. A pastor who not only hugs the members, but touches the hearts of the congregation. The members know you, your voice and are blessed by your presence. He teaches the medicine of benefits of laughter and the financial benefit of giving. Pastor believes this or not, but I tell you, your singing brings life into a dark place. You know, it's just you know, just the right song to sing. At the time, we need to be encouraged and also pierce the heart into conviction. Pastor, you have a smile that says, I love you, and a look that says, I'm praying for you, without saying the word. Pastor, your message from the pulpit makes me want to jump. Makes me want to jump up and say, I can make it. So bring it on. Because he was put into this position before you wanted to. But I can truly say you have truly excelled in the seven years you have been the pastor of this church. I can say you have built on the foundation that this church was built on and have taken us as a congregation to a higher height. And you did it with love for God first and your love for his people in and out of this church. You never take credit but your words are the, your words is God is the one to be praised. Continue to listen to God, and we as members can be in that place you desire us to be as a church. And we as a congregation can only go higher. You are a great leader, an example of what your pastor should be. 
Pastor Dennis Jerome Rogers, I'm proud to call you my pastor. of what God is saying to me in this season. And once again, I just want to acknowledge the children, if you will please stand. All the children in the house, if you will please stand. I believe Chastity, Jordan, 
and DJ back there, he's here. And all the family, you will please stand at this time, all the family. Sister Shanti, all the family, please stand. Amen, amen, amen. And my cousin back there that always held my back, Mr. Lewis Butler, they always said, the commercial says, who done it? The butler done it. Amen, amen, he has my back here, pushing me, helping me in everything that I need to do. God bless you. Come on, can we give the Lord a praise? Come on, can we give God a praise? For this year, the name of the Lord, I shall rejoice and be glad. Amen. Amen. Honor and respect, amen. 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 It came in. Some of you have snuck in on me. I didn't see y'all come in. Amen. But we thank God for all of you to my superintendent on today. God bless you. We thank you, superintendent. Amen. And to, amen, the North Little Rock District pastors on today. We appreciate you. Amen. All of you to, amen, to our guest speaker on today. My friend, my brother, my comrade. Amen. My midnight brother, amen. My early morning brother, amen. My vacation brother, amen. I'm about to tell y'all something about him, amen. God bless you, Superintendent, amen. Terry Williams, amen. Thank God again for Lady Williams. To the pastors that come with Superintendent, yes, we appreciate you taking out the time because I believe, amen, you had to dismiss a few minutes early in order to make this trip. I honor you and I respect you, amen. Thank you so much, amen, for the sacrifice that you made, amen, to be here on today. Amen. Again, to mother, to all the elect ladies that are here today, amen, to the family, amen, and to the greatest church family. Oh, my word. Ready to revive with church family. Amen. You may have heard me say this before, but I said and I said again. There's no other church family that I would love to pass other than a ready to revive with church family. I love you. I appreciate you. All the things that you do for us. Amen. Day in and day out. We're so humbled by your love that you share that you for us off the time even when we least expect it amen you're right there amen and to one of the greatest assistant pastors amen. Oh, I got it I got it you I was gonna do this but I, I thank God for Elder White amen he's right there by my side, helping me do so many things. Amen. If I've never told you before, I appreciate you. Thank God for you. Amen. And to my immediate family, my brother that's right by my side. The other fat is B. Ryan. Young man of God, amen, and to, amen, my sister, missionary June Joseph, amen. Did she not direct that youth choir? I tell y'all something about our youth choir. When everybody else is sitting down and seems like they don't have any energy, by the time missionary Joseph and that youth choir get up there, the whole church is tore up. God, my God. God is doing a great thing in this season, as First Lady has stated, and I'm so humbled by the power and by the mighty move that he is doing with us here. Amen. God bless, amen, and to, amen, to my children, our children. Amen. Thank God for our children, our grandchildren. Amen, amen. God bless them, and to our extended family, amen, my cousins. Amen, amen. To all, amen, amen. God bless you, amen. God bless you, cousin, amen. That's, 
Amen. My cousin, amen. He belongs to Bishop, amen, Doc Rogers, as we call him in the family. Amen. But it seems like he can't get enough of Greater New Bible way here lately. Amen. That's all right. You'll be an honorary member here as well. Amen. Doc, just have to understand. Amen. God bless you as well. Amen. We just have so much to be thankful for today. Amen. God has truly shown us favor. No, and I have not forgot. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my own mother. I'll say this, amen, I've never said this before. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But she just doesn't know how good it makes me feel when she get up and testify or speak. And she give honor and respect to her son and then she calls me pastor. It almost me. It almost me. Amen. And it's a great privilege because I believe it was Ella White said, yes, I stepped in at a time when I really didn't want to do. Amen. I was happy where I was just serving. But God knew that this time would come. And I thank God for what he has done and continuing to do in my life. I thank God for my wife. I thank God for my wife. Didn't think she would be here, amen. I caused her some obstacles. The devil thought he had her. But tell somebody, prayer changes things. I dare you to touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, prayer changes things.
bed of every of every bird for
A church where God is really real? Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. Midweek service, Thursday, 7 p.m.